Hi, I am Dr. Vijay Kumar P.K. I am a consultant in Kinec Endoscopy and IVS Specialist working as a Medical Director in Vardhan Laparoscopy and Women's Care IVF Center at Banaswadi, Bangalore. Polycystic ovarian disease or polycystic ovarian syndrome which is very common disease. The incidence is around 15 to 30 percent. Nowadays it is very commonly seen 1 in 10 women. So the PCOD is treated from the adult stage by changing the habits of food or uh, changes in the lifestyle management. If that is not correctable then the mode of treatment of PCOD is by surgical. PCOD overall drilling is nothing but what we do here is under general anesthesia we pass a small uh, telescope through the 10 mm trocar made a cut above the umbilicus and through the telescope you visualize the uterus ovary and the tube what is seen in the laparoscopy is the ovaries will be very big large pearly white if you keep uh, to keep together uh, keep uh, two ovaries it will be a bigger than the uterus size so it will be very kisling polycystic typical polycystic ovaries the capsule will be very thick pearly white we hold the ovary in one hand of the uh, ligament by uh, instrument and we make a small uh, with a current of uh, 40 volts we pass a current and puncture the cyst wall the wall like 5 to 6 depends on the size of the ovary maximum up to 10 ovary drilling can be done on each ovaries what will happen by doing this is it will enhance the ovulation so that there will be a good follicular growth will be there and that will make the ovulation and pregnancy and fertilization rate will be very high. So that, that's how the laparoscopic parent drilling helps. But it's very important to select the patients for laparoscopic parent drilling. You should never do a excess puncturing of the ovary because we are using a current, it will damage the ovary and tissue and further growth of the follicles will not be there. So it should have a very very limited punctures, minimum 4 to 5, maximum 10 ovary drilling on each side.